So I wanted to share five things that I wish I had packed in my hospital bag the first time that I gave birth that I'm gonna pack this time. Um, so here they are. So the first thing that I wish I had packed is a baby carrier. There's many different types, but I love this brand. This is totally unsponsored by the way, but um, this is a cloth carrier that you can wear in many different ways. So especially if you're planning to breastfeed, having your baby skin to skin or on your body as close as you can have your baby um, as often as you can will improve and boost your milk supply. So I wish I had this because it just frees your hands. Um, so obviously the first couple of days you'll be getting the hang of um, breastfeeding and sleeping a lot, and what, sleeping as much as you can. But having this, um, yeah, I think would have changed the game because I could have had my hands free and kept my baby as close to me as possible at all times. So that's one thing. So also along the lines of breastfeeding, the second thing is nipple cream. And this I think was probably the most important because the first two to three days um, was pretty rough, <laughs> especially on your nipples. And cracked or bleeding nipples is definitely not uncommon. And I had to get my husband to run out in the middle of the night to get this. It's a lanolin base, so it's um, all natural and safe for the baby. So definitely get a brand that um, obviously is all natural. But um, having this and then putting that on your nipples in between feeding sessions was a lifesaver. So I've got two tubes of this ready to go in my hospital Third thing that I wish I had packed uh, is perineum spray. What is your perineum? That's something you might be asking, but that's the skin between your vagina and your anus. That's gonna be sore after birth. So regardless if you tear or not, if you get stitches or not, um, your perineum will be sore. And the hospital will give you uh, water and different types of um, just like spray bottles to help when you do go to the bathroom. But this time round, I have been given this uh, all natural spray with witch hazel, because witch hazel is something that really does help cool and relieve a sore perineum. And that's, I, I use that um, after my son was born. But having it in a spray bottle, um, I think is revolutionary. This is all natural as well. So I've got that packed in my hospital bag, ready to go. The fourth thing that I wish I had packed are postpartum tights. So just tights that really still give your belly a bit of support after the birth, um, whether you have a C-section or not. Um, one thing that I was told was that you are still going to look four months pregnant for at least a couple of weeks after the baby is born because your uterus has to go down from a, the size of a watermelon to the size of a pear again. So that takes time. Um, so just having some additional support. This brand um, is called Blanky. Again, this is unsponsored. Um, I really love their maternity wear and I've invested in a pair of their postpartum tights. But any pair of high-waisted, tights or a belly band can also work just give your core a bit of support after um after the birth the fifth uh thing that i wish i had packed was actually an eye mask so that sounds a little strange but now that baby is in the world um, you'll be sleeping at very irregular times so you'll be sleeping at two to three hour intervals especially if you do plan on breastfeeding so you'll be sleeping in the middle of the day, late morning, um, yeah, early evening, whenever you can get sleep. So hospital lights are bright um, and just having an eye mask so that you can shut out the lights and get sleep as much as you can um, is definitely a good idea.